Hey Virgo, happy birthday and welcome to your weekly reading for the 31st of August to the 7th of September. I can't believe I just said that. Wow, how has this year already flown by? I am Charlene Lizette. Whether you're new or whether you're returning, a massive thank you to you. I love you my Virgo babies, okay? My husband will have prominent uh, Virgo placements because Virgo rules my 7th house. So I dig your energy. I like your energy, okay? Listen, we are coming off of the uh, full moon in Pisces that happened on the 30th of August. It's it obviously had a great effect on you because it's on your access, right? So you're going to want to look at wherever Virgo sits in your chart, what house, and then look at the opposite act, the opposite side, which would be where Pisces is. <laughs> no, I'm not crying. We're not doing that. I don't want to ugly cry. I'm just doing my makeup. <sighs> Okay, I don't know if for some of you, you'll know, let me know in the comments if your seventh house has been activated or your fifth house. I don't know if some of you have been waiting for love. Like if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I don't like specifically focus on love. I like to do a weekly reading and then I dive into love specifically. But love is here. <laughs> what? No, ew, you stop crying. Ew, you're so gross. Stop making me cry. I don't like it. Stop it. I I can feel some of you getting all like, <laughs> and I'm feeling it as well. Like, we don't, we're going to be cool, calm, collected, cool like cucumbers, okay? Please, por favor. This is a long time coming. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. A long time coming, Virgo. This person may come out of nowhere, like absolute surprise, so random. For some of you, this could be a, somebody from the past where it was like a false start or like um, where you like met and like liked each other, but nothing ever happened. And for others of you, it's going to be brand new. And I'm going to dive into that in just a minute. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Pisces is showing up so heavily here. That's literally your opposite side of it. What was I telling you, right? Because I'm a Pisces rising, my seventh house is Virgo. So in astrology, whatever sign rules your seventh house, which is the opposite of your ascendant, of your rising sign, uh, holds clues or like little bits of, of knowledge around the characteristics of your ideal husband or your ideal wife. So you're going to want to look at the sign and then you're going to want to look at the ruling planet of that sign. So for example, Virgo is Mercury. So you would look at your seventh house and then find where Mercury is in your natal chart. You know what? I'm going to do a whole video on that. I shared it over on TikTok if you're following me over there, uh, but I'll do a whole video here on YouTube to help you with that because I personally think that once we understand our seventh house, it makes it a lot easier for us to find love because then we're not looking for love in the wrong places and we understand what we like inherently at a soul level need and love. Dude, like, can we just, can we, can we just take a minute? Okay, just take a minute before, like, I don't need to cry right now. I did my makeup and yes, my makeup, my, um, my stuff is waterproof, but still doesn't matter. <sighs> Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. The second bloom, a second chance. It's never too late. New possibilities. I don't know if some of you like had it really hard in love. I don't know. Maybe you've been single for a very long time. Maybe like finding love has been really difficult. But if if you are a Pisces rising or if you have Virgo in your seventh house or your fifth house, you're it's, you're activated for love. There's the sun, there's Mars, it's happening. We even have Sagittarius here. Sagittarius and Jupiter is like the philosopher, it's the wanderer, it's very, it's a very spiritual energy. And also Jupiter is traditional ruler of Pisces too, so more Pisces energy really kicking in. And you've got the high priestess for your amulet as well. Uh, if you've been wanting to tap into source, consciousness, your higher self, your psychic downloads, your psychic abilities, your intuition, etc., pick up high priestess. It's in the description box below, okay? It's from my jewelry line I designed them and make them all myself now let's dive into this reading and then we'll get into like the love portion of the reading but this whole reading is love I'm just gonna say that right now okay 
you got the king of cups showing up here in the beginning and the stars this to me makes me feel like this is a dream something you've been manifesting you know that song sent from cinderella like a dream is your oh wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep <laughs> i'm gonna start crying again ew <laughs> like that's this okay that that thing that you've been dreaming of that you've been wishing on ugly cry. It's here. <laughs> it's here. Okay. The two of cups, the ten of cups. But here's the thing, my love. Mercury was retrograde. Venus is retrograde. And while it may come in sometime this week, while you may be meeting somebody or you're getting clear, if you're like not meeting anybody, which I'm going to find it really hard to believe based off of this reading, if you aren't meeting anybody, what's happening is like there is a, a whole level of clarity as to the type of partner that you desire, how you desire love, what kind of relationship you need, like everything is coming together. Like you're understanding the aspects that you need on a soul level to feel fulfilled, happy, complete, secure, safe, etc. in a relationship. Then we got the hanged man, which is almost telling me that for whatever reason, there's like a, a, a trying to hold back of your emotions. And it's funny because that's exactly what I was trying to do in this reading. I was trying to hold back my tears. Like, and I don't think it's about holding these emotions back though, Virgo, if I'm being really serious with you. I think what it's about is recognizing that you can be methodical and balanced and take your time with these emotions, with these feelings, but that it's okay to feel them. You get it? Like, it's okay for you to be happy. It's okay for you to have a healthy love. It's okay for you to have respectful love. Maybe it's not what you thought you needed, but it's exactly what the doctor ordered. You get what I'm saying? Or God ordered. And the two of wands, this is about getting out of your comfort zone. I think this person is just going to come in and be like everything that you have ever wanted and desired in your life, Virgo, and you're not going to know what the fuck to do with it. You're going to be like, what is happening right now in my life? I can't believe it. Okay, like, I think there's going to be a little bit of like, um, like freeze response. Okay. And maybe some of you have experienced some big trauma in your love life. But I'm here to tell you, honey, this person that's coming in, who's, you know, wanting to make an offer, who's been eyeing you, who's been watching you. They're a dream come true. Just kiss. All right. Uh, if you want to work with me in any capacity, take a look at the description box below. You can take my courses around tarot. I've got live and pre-recorded courses. The next live tarot certification is happening on um, the 16th of September. So if you want to get certified and become a tarot reader and start your own tarot business, you're going to want to take that course. Um, we'll work together for eight hours. You'll meet me. I'll meet you. It's a lot of fun. And then there, all the other like the theory and stuff is all pre-recorded. So you take it on your own time. Can I just get two more, please? Um, and then if you want to book a session or pick up your amulet, that's in the description box below as well. Oh my God. So we've got the page of pentacles and healing family issues. Yeah, there's a lot of healing here that's going to be happening. And honestly, I think this relationship is also going to be really, really healing for you as well. And you've got justice and the past life relationship. I think when you see this person, like the first time you two interact together, you're going to be like, whoa. I know you. Have you ever done that? Like, have you ever seen somebody and looked at my, both my nails broken really bad and it hurts. Uh, like looked at somebody in the eyes and you're like, I've known you before. I've, I had this last year with somebody and I was just like, I like what? It's like literally looking into somebody and seeing deep in their soul. Yeah, it's crazy. And that's what you're going to have with this person. Then you got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and the three of wands. Like the universe is saying, take the leap of faith, babe say yes to this, okay? Because it is a dream come true. And I'm so, so, so happy for you. All right, Virgo, I'm going to pop a video here to help you confirm whether or not this person is your soulmate. Uh, it has to do with the values and it's really important. Go watch it. And then if you want to pick up your amulet, take my courses. It's all in the description box below. All right. Happy birthday, my loves. We will see you later. Alligator. Peace out. Bye.